Hello, my name is Amir. I'm pleased to say that I'm a dental surgeon and I'm here to talk to you. A budding dentist, a general dental practitioner perhaps, a dental therapist, or anyone for that matter, about the childhood fevers, the exanthematous fevers, the so-called acute specific fevers. Things like mumps and measles and German measles and diphtheria and chicken pox and whooping cough. And I put them all in here because in each case some sort of oral manifestation or facial presentation will be seen by us or will be picked up by us. And therefore you should know something about them. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about their incubation period. The prodromal symptoms, those are the symptoms that come on before the actual illness. Whether or not there is a rash, and what you would see in the mouth column, which is the most important thing for us. And whether or not they are protected by vaccine, vaccination program. So let's go very slowly through them. Mumps or epidemic parotitis is a viral illness and is spread by droplet infection, by sneezing and by coughing, by sneezing and coughing in school and on the bus going to school, etc. And mumps has a long incubation period. That is, all viruses have a long incubation period. So if someone were to ask you, what is the incubation period of mumps? All you have to think about that is a viral illness and you will say two to three weeks and you'd be right. If it's a bacterial illness, of course, it's going to be days, one to three days. So you need not be specific about these precise dates. Mumps causes enlargement of the parotid glands. Sometimes the submandibular glands. And patients present with a swollen face and pain and fever and perhaps a sore throat. And be generalized lymphadenopathy enlargement of the draining lymph nodes and sometimes difficulty with swallowing. The important thing for us is though, when you look inside the mouth, you may see that the orifice of the Stenson's duct or the parotid duct is inflamed on one side or on both sides. And that is about its sole oral manifestation. You remember of course that mumps causes meningoencephalitis, rarely, that is inflammation of the meninges and that of the brain, or orchitis, inflammation of the testes, or pancreatitis. But those things are not going to happen in your dental chair. And I'm only mentioning them to you for completeness. Mumps is protected by vaccine, vaccination program introduced by the National Health Service, the NHS, in 1988. And since its introduction, the mumps, measles, rubella vaccine, it has greatly decreased the number of kids developing mumps.